Hi everyone, Namaste. Welcome to Yoga with Naveen. My name is Naveen, and today we have a special 30 minutes power yoga class for you. Power yoga usually is intense in nature, and this class is also be going to be very intense for you if you are an absolute beginner. If you have any sort of a pain within the body, then I recommend you not to practice this session. You can go ahead and check out my channel and practice something else which is for yoga for beginners. But this class is a little bit more intense, so I recommend you not to practice if you have any sort of pain within your body right now. But if you do not have, you're more than welcome to practice this session. This session is going to be a 30 minutes power yoga session. It's an intense session. It will help you in weight loss, it will help you in fat burning and also give you a lot more energy for the entire day. So without any further delay, we will go ahead and start the session now. Before that, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon button so that you never miss a video from my side. And now let's get started. Let's start in Sukhasana. Come in the cross-legged position, roll the shoulders behind, keep your spine erect. And from there, first we will go for three Omkar chant to invoke the energies to prepare our body and mind for today's practice. Bring your both palms together in Namaste. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Gently start to rub your the palms, straight to the mouth, energy in your the palms. Bring your the palms to your face, energize yourself. With a beautiful smile and a few blinks, look at your the palms. Let's get started. Roll the shoulders behind one more time. Take your the palms on your knees. The first movement is a neck movement that you're going to be doing up and down. As you're going up, you're going to be inhaling. As you're going down, you will be exhaling. So let's get started with five times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. So we look forward, inhale, exhale, relax. Now the next movement is a neck rotation. Let me show you how we will do it. So you will take the chin down and from there you will start to take the right ear to the right shoulder. You will take the neck behind, you will complete the inhalation here and then you will start to exhale from the other side. Continue to go down until you reach the center. This is how you will do one cycle. Totally we are going to be doing five cycles from the right and five cycles from the left. So let's get started. Exhale, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, Let's reverse the whole process. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And now patiently look forward, take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale out completely and now from there let us go ahead and start to work with our wrist. Let's prepare the wrist for today's practice by rotating it. How we will rotate? We will rotate like this. We will take your fingers inside, upwards to the side and again 
down. This makes it one cycle. Totally, we're going to be going for 10 clockwise and 10 anti clockwise. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's reverse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now relax your both hands down. Just take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. Let's prepare the shoulders for today's practice. For our shoulders, we'll do shoulder socket rotation. You'll take fingers on the shoulders. You'll take the elbows down. You'll take the elbows right in front of you. You'll join them with inhale. You will take them up high. With exhale, you will take them down. This makes it one cycle. You will also do it from back to front like this. You will raise it up high, inhale, and then exhale. You will bring it in the front and then taking it down. So we'll do five cycles from the front and then five cycles from the back. Let's get started. One. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Let's reverse the whole process. Five, four, three, two. One and relax. Just take a deep breath. Inhale here. Exhale. Let's elongate the spine. Create a lot more space among all the vertebrae so that while we're practicing, the spine is comfortable. Interlock your both the palms. You'll push the both the hands up high and then you will relax. This is how we'll do total five cycles. So let's get started. Interlock your both the palms first. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. Relax yourself. Just take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale out completely. Let's give a little bit of twist also to the spine so that the spine is much more comfortable while actually we are doing the practice. Taking your right palm to the left thigh and then you will take the left hand behind and with an exhale, you will go for a nice twist and then you will be coming back. So this is seated Kari Chakrasana. Let's go ahead for total 5 cycles. Take your right palm to the left thigh. Your left hand will be going behind. Keep your spine erect. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to the center, inhale, exhale to the right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three, exhale, exhale, four, one last second to go. Five, and now from there again relax yourself, just take a deep breath in here, exhale out completely, let's go for our next posture, the next posture is Titliyasan, butterfly position, this will help you release all the tension from your knees, from your inner thighs, from your lower back, even from the ankle, so it will take care of your entire low body. What we will do is we will bring the soles together and this you can continue to do with me itself. Bring the soles together, take your both palms to the front of your toes, keep your spine erect and let's start to flap your both knees. So you'll take them up, you'll take them down and continue to go for this like this exactly for 10 times. One, breathe in and out. Two, inhale and exhale. Three, Keep observing all the changes happening to your inner thighs, to your glutes right now. Four. Five. 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन फ्रॉम द रिलैक्स सेल्फ स्टेक एनी गुड एंड हेल्प Exhale, cross your legs, coming back again to the same position, taking a deep breath in here once again. And exhale, let us turn ourselves to the side. Turn ourselves to the side once, and now from there, adjust yourself in the Sukhasana first, taking a deep breath in here. The next posture is seated forward fold. So let's look at me first. How exactly we'll be doing? You'll keep the spine erect, coming on your fingers, and you'll start to walk forward and just the body along. You will be looking. Down. Then I'm trying to take the forehead down here. So try and keep the belly on your calf muscles. Instead of going like this, try and go like this by pushing your belly down on the calf muscles. Let's do this for five. One, two, three, four. And then five. Slowly start to walk back. Coming up, inhale. Exhale. Take both the palms behind. Open the chest this time as much as you can. Keep pushing your knees a little bit more forward. Arch your back nicely, and then from there you'll be looking back at this time, holding it here for five times. Five counts. One, two. Three, four, and five. Very gently come back. Take a deep breath. Inhale here. Exhale. Now take both the palms forward. Come on your knees and take your both the knees back. And let's actually go back to the completely end of your mat. Either you can keep your knees together or you can open them. Press your pelvis down to your heels and then stretch your hands forward. Now, after this, once we get into this position, this is Balasana. From here, we are going to be starting the sequence, which will take us to a power yoga practice. So, from here, start to stretch your hands forward, take the forehead down, and stay there for five breaths. One, continue to adjust your body, prepare your body and mind for today's practice. It is going to be intense. So let your mind and body be completely ready. Two, inhale and exhale. Three. Breathe in and out. Four. Breathe in and out. Five. Breathe in and out. And then from there, slowly look forward. And from there, move forward. Coming forward in Marjorya Asan. Align your wrists exactly with the shoulders. Align your knees exactly with the pelvis. And now from there, inhale. Arch your back. Very gently look up. Exhale, hunch the spine and take your chin down to the chest. One more time. Inhale, two. Exhale. Don't even do this for five times. Three. Inhale. Allow this to help you prepare your spine. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Exhale. And from there, relax yourself. Keep your spine neutral here. Just take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees a little bit closer. You can take your hands a little bit more forward. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale out. And from there, you will be lifting your right leg up high. Inhale. Looking forward. And with exhalation. From here, you will keep the toe in at the back, and then you will try and go down to the Ashtanga Namaskar by taking your chin down on the ground, and then you will slowly pull yourself back. Inhale, and then exhale, taking your right knee down again. So let us take the left leg this time, taking the left leg up high. Inhale, and then exhale, take yourself down to Ashtanga Namaskar with the left leg up. Again, you will come up. Inhale, and then exhale, taking the left leg down. This was one cycle. Let us go ahead. Total for four more cycles, which makes a total five. 
Make sure you do not keep your hands right below the shoulders. Take them a little bit forward so that when you are leaning forward, it is easier for you to go down. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and then exhale. Let's go ahead with the third. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let us change. Left leg up high. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Just take a deep breath. Inhale here. Going back to Balasana for once. And again, coming forward. Inhale. Turning about the toes in. From there, you'll be going back to the downward facing dog, adjust your knees in line with your pelvis, shoulders in line with your wrist and push back to the downward facing dog, pressing your heels nicely down, how much of the body allows and now from there we will start to move our knees one by one so you will push your right knee forward by pressing your left heel down and then taking the left knee forward by pressing your right heel down, this way we are going to go ahead for five times, so let's get started, one, Two, three, four, five, and then very gently press your both the heels down nicely, holding your chair, taking a deep breath, inhale, exhale out completely, and once you're Completely relaxed here. From here, you will take the right foot behind your right palm, left foot behind your left palm, and slowly and slowly you allow yourself to come into a malasan position. This is a squatting position. You must have your feet shoulder width apart, not wider than that, not closer than that. So keep it shoulder width apart and make sure you look forward, raise your hands up higher from there, and then with inhale, you will slowly be coming up. And with exhalation, you will slowly be going down. Then you will take your both palms down and then taking the right leg back and then the left leg back into a plank position, Santanan Asana. When you come into the Santanan Asana, wrist exactly in line with your shoulders, pulling your chest, abdomen completely in. Make sure the toes and the heels are exactly in line, looking slightly ahead of the center of your both palms. Inhale. With exhalation, you will be taking your both knees down and then you will take your chin and the chest down to proper Ashtanga Namaskar. Then you will push your both the toes behind. From there, rolling the shoulders behind and trying to look forward in Bhujang Asana. With exhalation, you will slowly coming back to the downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. So this was our first cycle of this tiny sequence, the micro sequence in the sequence, we are going to be doing total four more times and complete this for five times. So let us again move forward behind your both palms and try to keep your both feet behind your palms coming into the malasana, raising your both hands exactly in line with your shoulders, coming up inhale, with exhalation go down, take your both palms down, Come to the plank from here, Santalan Asan. Inhale and then exhale, slowly go down to Ashtanga Namaskar. And then from there again, coming up to inhale, Bhujanga Asan. With exhalation, move back to the downward facing dog one more time. Let's go ahead for the third cycle of this. Taking your both the feet one by one behind your both the palms, sitting in Malasan. Hands forward exactly in line with your shoulders, coming up to standing position. Inhale. With exhalation, slowly go down. Exhale, taking both the palms down. 
Moving back to Santalan Asan, just take a deep breath, inhale here. With exhalation, take your both the knees down. Ashtanga Namaskar. And then inhale. Coming up to Bhujang Asan. Again, moving back to the downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Asan. From here, let's move ahead for the fourth cycle. Right leg forward, left leg forward, and again, take your both hands exactly in line with your shoulders. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit down. Take your both palms down to the ground. Coming back again to the plank first. Inhale. With exhalation, take your both the knees down, chin and the chest down to the ground. And then inhale, coming up to Bhujang Asan. With exhalation, you will be going back to the downward facing dog. From here, let us take ourselves for the last time, fifth cycle. Sit again to the Malasana, take your other hands forward. Inhale, exhale, taking your both palms down. And now taking your both legs back again to the plank. Inhale, exhale, take your both knees down, taking yourself down to Shantra Namaskar. Inhale and then come up to Bhujangasana by keeping your navel down. Exhale. Move back to the downward facing dog at home, Kashwanasan. Pressing your heels nicely down. Just taking a deep breath, inhale there. Exhale. Now, once you exhale out completely, you are going to be taking the right leg forward to the center of your both the palms and keeping your back sole down on the ground and then slowly you'll be coming up and lifting your upper body. We are trying, we are trying to go for Veera Bhadrasana 1. For Veera Bhadrasana 1, you will keep your right knee exactly in line with your right ankle. Torso will be facing right foot forward to the right leg and then you will raise your both hands up higher. Your back sole is down on the ground and then inhale, look up, exhale, take your both palms down, come back on your left toe trying to take the right leg back coming into the plank inhale there with exhalation move back to the downward facing dog and press your heels nicely down coming to Adho Mukha let us change the leg now taking the left leg forward keeping your back sole down and once again coming to warrior one with left leg forward this time inhale raise your both hands up high and then exhale, very gently take your palms down, coming back on your toe at the back, taking your left leg back in the plank, inhale there, exhale, move back to the downward facing dog and press your heels nicely down, just take a deep breath, inhale, exhale out. From there one more time, you'll be taking the right leg forward to the center of your both the palms, Keeping your back sole down on the ground and then try and in line. Bring your right knee to the right ankle. Slowly come up. From here, we will be trying to take the abdomen in. Tuck the tailbone slightly in. Make sure you keep the right knee exactly in the right ankle. And then take the left knee behind, take the right foot forward. This time you are in a Veera Bhadrasana. Two. Inhale. Exhale and take your other palms down. At the end, come on the toe at the back, right leg back, coming into a proper plank. Santaranasana, inhale. Exhale and move back to the downward facing dog and press your heels nicely down. Taking the left leg forward at this time. Now, from here again, you'll be keeping your back sole down on the ground, keeping your left knee exactly like your left ankle. And now, from there, we'll be coming up. Inhale. With exhalation, you will start to bend the left knee, keeping it exactly in line with the left ankle, tucking the tailbone in. So take the tailbone slightly in, your pelvis slightly in, pull the abdomen in, take the left hand forward, right hand behind, hold it here. Inhale, exhale, and take your both arms down, taking the left leg back into the plank, inhale there. Exhale, move back to the downward facing dog, 
pressing your heels down nicely, just take a deep breath, inhale there, exhale out completely, and this time take the right foot outside your right palm, keeping your back leg on your toe, and from there look forward for once, with exhalation take the left forearm down, take the right forearm down, let's hold it here for five, one, Two, three, breathe in out, keep trying, four, and then five, very gently come back on your both the palms, taking your right leg back and moving back to the downward facing dog, inhale, with exhalation you will take the left foot outside your left palm, inhale here. With exhalation, take your both the forearms down here again. Breathe in and out. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back on your both the palms, take a deep breath, inhale. With exhalation, moving back to the downward facing dog. Inhale there. Exhale out completely. Take the right leg forward again to the center of your both palms and this time take the right palm to the left side. Then keep your back sole down and from there let us start to walk back on both the palms trying to lift the right toe up high adjusting your back toe, back sole and slowly and slowly with support you can keep going back and try and sit on your back sole. From here you will be coming up and then moving forward, you will take the palms forward, moving back to the downward facing dog, Adho Mukha The same thing we will do from the left side as well, take the left leg forward, you are going into the Skandhasan, keep your back sole down, taking the left hand to the right side and very gently start to walk back by lifting your left toe up high, how much of the body allows and then Hold it there, just breathe in out. Exhale, move forward again, taking your both palms forward. Taking the left leg behind, moving back to the downward facing dog. Press your heels nicely down, just take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, take your both the knees down. And from there, take your both the forearms down. And from the forearms, take the right leg back, left leg back, coming into Makar Adho Mukha Svanasan, forearms plank, looking down, pull the abdomen and the chest in, let's hold this position for 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, breathe in out, try and hold it there until ten. Nine, ten, and from there, drop your both knees down. From there, open up your knees a little bit wider, keep your toes together, and then gently go back down to Balasan. Stretch your hands forward, breathe in, and breathe out. Be there in the Balasan, hold it here for five breaths. Continue to inhale and exhale deeply and slowly. One, two, three, four, five. Very gently come back. Inhale, exhale out completely. And up from there, take the pelvis slightly to the side, stretch your legs forward, lie down on your back, fold your both the legs, let us go ahead and do Setu Bandhasana, which is also known as Kandharasana, press your soles nicely grounded on the floor, on the mat, from there with inhale, start to raise the pelvis up higher, try and support your back with your both the palms, chin down the chest, and at the end, Release your hands down, interlock your palms, hold it there. 
for five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly take your pelvis down. Take a deep breath. Inhale here. Exhale completely. Adjust yourself nicely. Straighten the left leg forward. Let us go ahead for Sukta Matsyendra Asana to release all the tension from your spine. Take the right foot outside your left thigh. Hold it with your left palm. And then take your right hand exactly in line with your right shoulder. Taking the right knee down to the left. You find it looking to the right side. Slowly come back, inhale. Let us change the side. Straighten the right leg. Take the left out to the right. Holding your left knee with your right palm. Taking the left hand exactly in line with your left shoulder. Exhale. Push it down. And then slowly come back. Straighten your both legs. Into Shavasana. Open your both legs, shoulder width apart. Keep your low back settled on the ground. Hands away from the body. Feet flopping, eyes closed, chin a little bit down. Let's go ahead for three deep inhalations and exhalations following your abdominal. Every time you inhale, expand your abdominal. Every time you exhale, contract it. One. Two. Three, let's go ahead for the humming sound now, we will go for five times of humming sound, keep your lips together, teeth slightly separated, inhale. Slowly come back to your body consciousness, sensitize your toes, sensitize your palms, bring your both the legs together, fold your both the legs, then take a turn to the side, curl yourself completely, take one of the hand below your head, another hand right in front of you on the floor, both the knees are going to be closer to you, inhale. With exhalation, slowly come up and sit in a comfortable position, Sukh Asan, keeping your spine erect. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Let us settle down all the benefits of today's practice with one Omkar and three Shantis. Bring both the palms together, Namaste. Inhale. Mm -hmm. to your face, energize yourself with a beautiful smile and a few wings. Look at you both the palms. 
I hope you enjoyed today's practice. Please let me know in the comment section how did you find this video and if you found this helpful. Please hit the like button so that I can understand that you have liked this and I can continue to create more videos like this. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon button so that you never miss a video from my side. And I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.